Microsoft PowerPoint is possibly the most popular and widely used presentation program, but rarely used to its full potential. It is heavily automated, which tends to obscure its more creative elements. There is much more under the bonnet, readily available to the inquiring mind. All of my YouTube productions start life in PowerPoint, including this one, and when complete, converted to an MP4 file for uploading, preserving all effects and timings. However, it is still important to understand how the program functions, especially when creativity is in full flight. That is what this program attempts to explain. Before you start, shortlist your images and place in a separate folder for easy access. Change resolution to 1400 pixels width, allow height to take care of itself depending on format ratio. Okay, let's get started. Open program by clicking blank presentation. Slide master opens. Left panel is slide sorter. The main panel is where the creative work occurs. Working from a blank slide is the best way to learn PowerPoint. Furthermore, I am deleting the helpful click to add title as later you will add titles or subtitles without this kind of help. Click on box and press delete. You may wish to give your presentation a title using standard Windows or Apple Mac procedures. Click on Design tab. This discloses several design templates. We shall design from a blank slide, but first change the background color to black. So, click Format Background. Format panel appears on the right. Change the color to black. This, incidentally, will cover production errors. Click on Slide Size to change format. We shall stick with 16 times 9. Best if your output is for YouTube. Click Insert Tab. Ribbon changes. Click Pictures, then Picture from File. Go to folder containing shortlisted images and make a selection. Selected image now appears on blank slide. Its initial size dependent on resolution and may vary from illustration. Resize by pulling marquees to resolution shown for 16 times 9 ratio. Resize to these figures to fill screen. Insert second blank slide. Select second picture from file. Place and resize again. Check size again. Check that both images are centrally placed on blank slide by clicking third panel of format panel, then position. Both figures should register zero. Change if required by clicking up and down arrows. Make sure that the second slide is displayed. Click Transitions tab, ribbon changes. Click drop down arrow, probably beneath push to see full options. For now, choose a simple fade between the two slides. You may like to repeat this operation for the first slide so that it fades in smoothly at the start of the program. Fade transition is confirmed on ribbon. Set duration of fade and time on screen. Note 
that you can set manual transition to next slide on mouse click if required. Click insert ribbon changes, then text box. Drag with mouse a text box on slide. Size and position not important as this can be changed later. Type in text box. Click home tab ribbon changes, revealing options to format text. This can be done by clicking on text box or highlighting the text. Change color to white. Change font size if required. Change text to bold. Change font style. I have used Bookman Old Style. Click and drag text box to required location. Click Animations tab, ribbon changes. Click Animation pane on ribbon. Right panel changes. Note that format panel is still accessible. Click drop down arrow for more entrance effects. Change to wipe, now displayed in ribbon. In animation panel on right, go to effects options and change property to from left. Click, if required, drop down arrow by timing and change start to with previous, duration to 2 seconds, and delay to 1 second. Click slide show to change ribbon, then play from start. This will give a full screen preview of transition between the two slides. This is just the basis of how programs are created in PowerPoint. The presentation Morning Mood from my YouTube channel consists of similar slide transitions, but now in time to music, plus a few other effects. These additional techniques are explained in forthcoming PowerPoint programs. Composed by the Norwegian musician Edvard Grieg as incidental music to Ibsen's play Pierre Gint, Morning Mood is one of several orchestral and vocal selections that have since achieved worldwide recognition as concert pieces in their own right. The listener may not be familiar with them by name, but the melodies are known worldwide. Morning Mood portrays an African sunrise, but this evergreen melody transcends its setting, being equally at home painting a dawn anywhere. Therefore, I have chosen the British Isles to interpret the evocative world of Greek's music. <laughs> 